Imagine the universe as a giant, invisible ocean, not made of water, but of energy fields. In this ocean, particles are just ripples, excitations that appear and disappear, creating everything we see, from the stars in the sky to the neurons firing in your brain. This idea that reality is woven not from solid particles but from dynamic quantum fields is at the heart of modern physics. But where did this revolutionary concept come from? And why does it still drive the frontiers of science today? Let's dive into the fascinating world of particle physics and quantum field theory. Before we get too deep into this topic, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. This helps to bring more valuable content to the platform for your knowledge and understanding. Remember, knowledge is power. Now back to the episode. Welcome back to the channel, where we explore the mysteries of the universe through the lens of quantum physics. Today, we're unpacking the story of how physicists moved from thinking about matter as tiny billiard ball-like particles to a much stranger and deeper picture, one where the entire universe is built from invisible fields and particles are just fleeting ripples in that fabric. This is the story of particle physics, quantum field theory, and the scientists who reshaped our understanding of reality. The journey begins in the early 20th century. Physicists had just discovered that atoms, the building blocks of everything, weren't indivisible after all. J.J. Thompson's discovery of the electron in 1897 cracked open the atom. Soon after, Ernest Rutherford revealed the nucleus, and Niels Bohr introduced the quantum idea to explain atomic stability. But this was only the beginning. As particle accelerators were invented, more and more subatomic particles were found, protons, neutrons, and eventually a whole zoo of exotic entities. Physics was rapidly shifting from Newton's solid mechanics into a strange quantum world. Here's where the story gets mind-bending. In the 1920s and 1930s, pioneers like Paul Dirac, Werner Heisenberg, and Wolfgang Pauli began grappling with a deep question. How do you merge quantum mechanics with Einstein's special relativity? Dirac's famous equation predicted not only the behavior of the electron but also something shocking, the existence of antimatter. That was one of the first hints that fields, not particles, were the true bedrock of reality. By the mid-20th century, physicists realized they needed a new framework. It wasn't enough to just think of particles bouncing around. Instead, every particle, electrons, quarks, photons, had to be understood as excitations of an underlying field that permeates all of space. This was the birth of quantum field theory, or QFT for short. The next big leap was organizing all the known particles and interactions into a grand theoretical framework. Out of decades of work came the standard model of particle physics, developed between the 1950s and 1970s by scientists like Sheldon Glashow, Abdus Salam, and Steven Weinberg. The standard model unified three of the four fundamental forces, electromagnetism, the weak force, and the strong force, under one quantum field framework. It introduced the concept of gauge symmetry, which explained why particles interact the way they do. In this model, particles aren't isolated dots. Instead, they're manifestations of fields, and their interactions are mediated by force carriers like photons, gluons, and W and Z bosons. But perhaps the most famous prediction of the standard model was the Higgs boson, a particle associated with the Higgs field, which gives mass to other particles. Decades later, in 2012, the Large Hadron Collider at CERN confirmed its existence, a discovery that electrified the scientific world. So, how does quantum field theory apply to physics today? The answer, everywhere. It explains how the sun shines, through nuclear fusion driven by quantum processes. It underpins semiconductor physics, the foundation of all modern electronics. It even shapes our understanding of the early universe, including cosmic inflation and the quantum fluctuations that seeded galaxies. And yet, QFT isn't complete. Gravity described by Einstein's general relativity, stubbornly refuses to fit into the quantum field framework. 
Physicists have been searching for decades for a theory of everything, something that unites quantum field theory with gravity. Ideas like string theory, loop quantum gravity, and holographic principles are all attempts to bridge that gap. The standard model, as powerful as it is, has glaring holes. It doesn't explain dark matter, dark energy, or why the universe prefers matter over antimatter. These mysteries suggest that quantum field theory is only part of the story, that deeper layers of reality are waiting to be discovered. This is why particle physicists continue building colossal machines like the Large Hadron Collider, smashing protons together at near-light speeds to probe deeper into the quantum fabric. Each collision is a chance to glimpse phenomena beyond the standard model. When we think of the universe, it's tempting to picture particles as tiny, indestructible marbles. But modern physics shows us a richer, stranger picture. Reality is fields, rippling and vibrating across space and time. Particles are just temporary notes in a vast cosmic symphony. From Dirac's antimatter to the Higgs boson, from the standard model to the mysteries still unsolved, quantum field theory has transformed how we understand existence. It's not just physics, it's a reminder that the universe is more subtle, elegant, and mysterious than we ever imagined. So the next time you look up at the stars, remember, you're not just made of particles, you're made of fields, rippling in harmony with the cosmos. Thanks for joining me on this journey into particle physics and quantum field theory. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the quantum world, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you won't miss future explorations. Drop a comment below with the biggest question you still have about the quantum universe. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Until next time, keep wondering, keep questioning, and keep exploring the quantum fabric of reality.